Yeah, a lot of you are thinking this. Lucas, what the hell are you talking about? Why, why, what are you saying Android N? What, what, what? Most phones don't even have Android M. Well, yes, Google is mad. Um, I'm sure you've noticed that. And they just dropped a beta version for their new version of Android. They are absolutely sick, but I like it. So without further ado, let's get up into it. So the first thing you're gonna notice in the new beta version of Android N is going to be the complete redesign of notifications. One, they are no longer little bars. They are bands that go from side to side on the screen. So they are big, lines that just cover from width through the whole the whole width of the phone. So that's how it's gonna work for the notifications as far as they look in aesthetics. To access the um, the little settings for notifications, so to block them or to say I don't want notifications from this app or only priority, you will either have to half swipe from the side, click on the settings button, or long press as usual. So they're giving you options. And the next thing is that um, notifications come in bundles, so if you want to get more information, you swipe down with two fingers or click on the little arrow and you'll expand it. And also, with core apps like Gmail, you'll expand it so much that you'll be able to work with each individual notification in the group separately. Now, number four, for uh, when you have um, either an SMS on the Messenger app or on the Google Hangouts app, you'll be able to answer it right from the notifications. You will not have to leave and go into the big app to answer it. You just pull down, click reply, and you can answer it right there without leaving what you were doing. So that's it for notifications. Two, we've got the quick settings. It's completely redesigned along with the status bar. So now when you pull down the uh, notification bar to get your quick settings, you get your small one and it's gone with the big clock on the side and the weather and temperature, whatever, that's gone. It's just a line of five most important quick settings. So you've got your data, your Wi-Fi, your flashlight, and it's just really quick toggles. Now, if you wanna get to the rest of the quick settings, you pull down with two fingers and you have the rest of them. But it is paged. It, it does have different pages, depending on the amount of quick settings you choose to use. So you can have as many as you want or you cannot have any, that's up to you. If you don't have any, you're a bit strange and that's defeating the whole purpose of having a quick settings bar, but okay, that's up to you. But anyways, that's around what you can do with the quick settings. Now, with the quick settings, you can't just tap to disable something. So in Wi-Fi, you just tap the icon and it would cancel it. But uh, now you have to go in it and then click the top because it's no longer Wi-Fi. There's a little line and then it says the Wi-Fi name and the little arrow and you can click the arrow to change Wi-Fi and click the actual icon to deactivate it. Now you have to go in and swipe. Third is um, the fact that everything is much more minimalistic now. So now you don't have the two layers like in Marshmallow where you have the first clock layer at the top with your battery. It says the little settings button and the rest of your information. And then you pull down, looks like there's a card coming out under it. And that's what you have for the um, for the, the quick settings. Now it's just all one thing. So as you pull down, everything merges into one little chunk. And also we no longer see the three little lines or like the book stack to clear away the, uh, the notifications. It's just a button, button that says clear all. So that's about it for uh, notifications and quick settings. And finally, well not finally, one of the last things is um, you have the completely re new and redesigned settings app. So now instead of having just the name of the submenu that you choose to go into, it has a little bit of information. So taking advantage of these big high res screens now, you can go into your settings app and you'll have the different submenu, say for example, the Wi-Fi and the name of the Wi-Fi you're connected to, your um, data and it says how much data you've used, battery, your battery percentage, storage, and so on. You get the gist of it. And also, once you go into a submenu, you can just pull from the side and you have a little swipe out um, tab where you can scroll through all the little sub menus as if you were on the main part. So I'm not sure it might save you any clicks, but it is much easier to use than going and clicking the back button and then going back into the front and then finding it. It's just more convenient and I quite like it. Also, if you activate system UI tuner and to do that, you just need to go into the quick settings menu, hold on the little cog, let it spin for five to 10 seconds and then let go. And then it'll say system UI tuner activated, go in there, you'll be able to activate a new night mode. 
And the night mode goes into like settings app and other core apps, I'm not sure which other ones, but the settings app and makes all the whites black. So at night, everything is much better for your eyes and it doesn't actually hurt them like the white light because that's pretty blinding at night. So those are the different options you can use with the system UI tuner and you can even put it on to turn on automatically when the sun goes down like in Google Maps. So that is pretty interesting and I quite like this feature on Android, uh, the Android settings app and it's much better for your eyes honestly and I quite like it because it's just much easier to use and much more comfortable when you're using it at night. Finally, and one of the most important things is multitasking. The new multitasking section comes with many different tweaks and also now, as I said, everything's getting bigger and almost covering the whole screen because, well, they're taking advantage of the 5.7, 6 inch screens we have out today. Um, everything's getting bigger and just kind of taking over the whole screen. So when you click the multitask button, you first of all, you have bigger cards. The cards are much bigger. They aren't small and they, they kind of cover most of the screen. And also when you click the um, little multitask button, you know, the app that you are in will go to the bottom. So you don't accidentally click back into it, which is quite smart. And now also from multitasking, you can do split screen. A lot of uh, companies have been deciding to do this with their skins, but now it's done on native stock Android. What you do is hold the card, pull it into the white highlighted area at the top, and then it will get half of the screen, and then you'll pick the other app from your cards, and then you have your split screen. So that's how it really works for split screen on Android N, and that's about it for the first Android N beta preview. So as I said, a bit weird, Android M is just getting rolled out on most phones, but that's about it anyways for the new Android M beta. Strange, but I like it. So uh, that's about it for the video. If you liked it, um, put a thumbs up. If you don't like it, dislike it. I'm not gonna hate you, but it's just why. Why, why are you gonna dislike me? My videos are nice, come on. And anyways, if you really like the video and you wanna see more like this, click that subscribe button right there you can click it, and now, since I'm at 41 subscribers, if a lot of you guys decide to, to click it as it helps out the channel, I'll be able to um, get 50 subscribers and do my special videos I announced on my channel update. So, uh, I thank you guys for watching, and that's about it for today's video. So, all I got to say is, peace. Lucas, out.